What's going on you sexy bees buddy we're here and welcome to a tutorial on how to install and use the EMB organizer by Breams. So what is the EMB organizer? Well basically it is a client, it's an organizer that allows us to install and uninstall EMBs, SuiteFX and FXAA presets very easily and safely and cleanly. Now, um, some of you guys may watch my Skyrim mod reviews and notice that I don't really review EMBs that much. Well, I don't like manually installing and uninstalling EMBs. I don't like changing from one EMB to another because things always goes wrong and I have to spend time to uh, troubleshoot and whatnot. But anyways, anyways, hopefully this is going to change everything. Everything. Alright, so let's get started with the installation. So uh, we go to the Nexus mod page for EMB organizer and um, then we go to the files. Download manually. Okay, continue my download and we're gonna save the file. Okay, so let's open this up. Now we will need WinWar to open this up. This is a zip file. So after we open it up, we have this EMB organizer setup dot MSI. That is going to be the installer. So we just go ahead and run this. Next, next, next. Pretty easy. So right now I'm just waiting for the security window to pop up so I could agree. It's like, yeah, install this because I'm using Windows. There we go. Ooh, that was awkward. <laughs> okay, so we're pretty much done installing. So once we've done that, we go and run the EMB Organizer EXE. Now yours could be in a different location. You Pretty much you just search for EMB Organ. There we go. BAM! Okay, so we start this up and we should get the EMB organizer window. Any minute. Okay, there we go. Going a little bit slow. Okay, so this is the EMB organizer window. Now, most of these sexy beasts have your own EMBs installed already into your Skyrim. And what we should do first is, is we should make a preset for it. So that would be the default one that we've used. So what we got to do is we go to new and we go to from active file and what this does is it goes to the Skyrim directory and it looks at all of the um, EMB files available. This is the master list. This is, so this is basically your Skyrim directory. So the check marks are basically the EM, EMB files that you have in your directory already. So we go to new from active files and the EMB I'm using right now is OPEF uh, field. Alright, there we go. Okay, marvelous. So this is the default preset. Now, the thing that we want to do is we want to ins install a preset for a new EMB. Okay, so what we got to do? So let us go uh, download an EMB, shall we? So let's go to Somber. Yeah, Somber Dreams, pretty good. Uh, Somber 3, we're going to get this one and download manually. Okay. Uh, see? Now, the, the one thing about the EMB organizer is that some of these um, EMBs, they have uh, require a pre not a prerequisite, but required mods to make it work good, function well. Like uh, for Somber 3, it requires revamp exterior fog. You're going to need to install it with Mod Manager or Nexus Mod Manager or manually install. Okay, so it looks like my EMB is done installing, so let's open this up. And we're going to be, oops, close this, we're going to be using the performance one and there we go. So what I did is I made a folder on my desktop called Somber Dreams 3. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag all of these, um, these two files to Somber Dreams 3 into here. There we go. We're done with this one. So Somber Dreams 3. All right. So, oh, by the way, this is the character that inspired me to do uh, Skyrim my views. It's uh, made by a YouTuber. He, he does a lot of Skyrim videos called uh, T Rex I HD. I recommend you check out his channel. Yes, yes, yes. Very sexy character indeed. But, anyways, um, okay, so let's make our preset. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to from folder because that's where we um, extracted the EMB tools from the folder. So we go to desktop and we find Somber's three, uh, Dreams 3. There we go. We open it up and there we go. Bam. It's right there. All right. So right now, uh, I kind of want to start up my Skyrim and we're going to do it with my default one. I just want you guys to see the difference. Okie dokie, starting it up. 
yeah, just want to uh, show you guys how simple it is. And I'm actually quite surprised that when I'm using this EMB organizer, I did not crash to desktop. I mean, that is pretty good news for something like that. Yes, I was quite surprised, even when I first uh, used it. So, that being said, I'm quite satisfied. Yes, yes, yes. I hope that this organizer is going to be used by everyone, just like mod organizers. Okay, okay. So let's see. Uh, let's load a game. Uh, okay, okay. This save. Let's load this one. Yeah, I just want you guys to see uh, the difference. Yep, uh, loading time. I am using uh, a mechanical hard drive, so it does take a little bit, <laughs> a little some time to load. I wish I would. I was using uh, SSDs, you know, solid state drives, but they're kind of expensive. <laughs> but I'm probably gonna cut off the loading times anyways, just to make it easier. All right, so this is Opa Field. Yes, 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 very lovely, very lovely. This is the one that I usually use in my um, Scammer mod reviews. Hey, Shasha, no long time no see. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're done taking a look, uh, taking a look at this. So let's close this and uh, let's switch to another EMB, shall we? All right. So what we gotta do is we're gonna uninstall all. What this does is it deactivates all the active um, EMB files. So uninstall this. And uh, there's no longer a check mark next to open field. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select uh, Somber Dreams 3 and we're gonna select install. Check mark. So that means it's uh, implemented. So let's go back to Skyrim. And we're going to load the same um, game file just so you can see how simple, so flawless this is. But yeah, I do like how it's not that complicated once you use it for a couple of uh, minutes. It's actually quite intuitive. There's you maybe you just press like a couple of buttons and that's about it. Okay, so let's um, come on, loading screen, blah blah. <laughs> okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, load, and we're gonna load up the same file. Again, yeah, I'm probably gonna cut up most of the loading time anyway, so yeah. <laughs> All right, so here we are. Here we are. We have Somber Dreams Three. Uh, yes, you can see the difference. Mm -hmm. The nice little, it's kind of much more browner, uh, much more, um, just a very, very vast difference between the two EMBs. And uh, yeah, very nice, very nice. Oh, yes, very sexy, Sasha. Yes, stay sexy, Sasha. <laughs> okay, anyways, let's uh, quit this. So right now, let's take a look at the other parts of the EMB organizer very, very quickly. So we have settings. Let me see. Okay, settings, we could change the how can i say the directory yes 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 the destination folder the ini folder now i am guessing that this emb organizer could be used for other um games other Bethesda games like fallout i'm guessing you just change the um scar uh, the folder no that's what i'm thinking i'm not quite sure but it may, it may i think it might be possible it might be possible i haven't tried the next thing is the INI quick editor. This is very useful too. You could do some quick edits to some common INI properties. We have general, uh, we don't really care about that. We have graphics and grass. Okay, graphics, we could uh, toggle VSync on and off. Um, we could toggle shadows for trees, land, and whatnot. Very useful. Anti aliasing and this tropic filtering. Oh, yes, grass, grass, grass. So with grass, we could change how uh, the grass density, the grass type, texture so very 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 useful all right so we can also download emb binaries yeah because a lot of different embs that use different um versions if you use the wrong one it crashes yes i learned that the hard way <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much it with the emb organizer there uh there is there is actually another way to um add presets and that's empty and I don't really use this one because, uh, so let's say you made one, an empty one. Now with this one, you could add files, you could add a folder, which is pretty much, you know, add folder is pretty much the same from as from folder. 
And add files, I don't really like using that because when you use that to add in like uh, one of those, uh, like a, the, the zip file for the EMB, sometimes the directory is wrong and it doesn't install correctly. So that's why I kind of don't use that. But anyways, I believe, oh uh, wait, there's some tools here. Oh, creation, create performance version. Oh, what's this? Actually, this is new. <laughs> okay, uh, Vadiwa. Blah, 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 blah. Well, this is embarrassing. Estimate performance hack back. Okay, uh, anyways. Anyways, I am Vadiwa. Well, I hope you sexy beast enjoyed this tutorial on EMB Organizer. I hope you guys find this useful. And yeah, I'm very glad to, um, uh, have this organizer like a couple weeks ago a couple months ago i was kind of complaining to one of my friends like oh man installing emb's is horrible because you know my friend is like oh your emb is kind of too bright very well maybe you should get something like a little bit more darker perhaps i, I said, okay okay fine, i'll try it but then you know things didn't work out <laughs> yes 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 anyways i well, hope you sex peace enjoy and if you did make sure to bang that like and subscribe button and let me know what you guys think about the emb organizer or if you have any questions i may know the answer to <laughs> and oh make sure to check out my other videos on my channel and follow me on twitter join my steam group join my tumblr the links will be in the video description below yes 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 so yeah check out my other uh videos on my channel well then stay sexy my friends stay sexy